Hello YouTube, Lynette is finally here. I have been spending quite a bit of time analyzing her numbers and her teams. So today, we are going to take a deep dive into those numbers and what teams I think she works best in. But before we do, please make sure you give a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, so let's give a brief summary of Lynette's kit. Lynette is an Anemo sub DPS unit with most of her damage coming from her burst. This burst summons a taunt that deals AoE Anemo damage and taunts enemies for 12 seconds. The taunting from her burst is actually really good because it has a long 12 second duration with no HP. And that having no HP means it can't be destroyed by enemies, which, so it will always keep them distracted for the full 12 seconds. This makes it extremely easy for characters, especially ranged characters, to completely avoid getting hit when her burst is active. Her skill makes for Anemo Particles, which makes her a pretty good Anemo battery. And at C4, she gets two charges of it, allowing her to front load eight particles in longer rotations, and do so every other rotation in shorter rotations. She also gets grouping with her Constellation 1, and the grouping she gets is surprisingly good. Plus, she can do it twice with her C4. Once you have enemies grouped with her C1, the taunt from her burst can then easily keep them grouped for the full 12 seconds. And lastly, she provides a small attack percent buff with her passive, which lasts 10 seconds after using her buff. The buff scales higher with the more differing elements on your team, but this is not worth building around. Ironically, despite her passive suggesting that you want to use an element to lead a verse party with her, the teams that I believe she works best in are all mono teams. Specifically, I believe she works best in Wanderer or Zero Triple Anemo and Lenny Triple Pyro. Let's look at what she provides to Lenny first, since that is her brother after all. Lenny is a charged shot bow based DPS. His charge shot takes about 2.5 seconds on average to fire off, and if he gets interrupted out of them, you will have to start charging all over again, thus resulting in massive amounts of damage being lost. Lynette works great with Lenny because our taunt will keep enemies focused on it instead of him. This consolidation of acting as a defensive option with our taunt, while also covering the Anemo slot for grouping in VV Shred, allows Lenny to fit in Zhongling as his third pyro unit on the team to get all of his buffs. Being able to run Zhongling is absolutely massive for Lenny's total team damage output because she does a ton of damage in mono pyro teams and provides good buffing with her 15% pyro damage bonus buff and 15% pyro resistant shred. So to get an idea of how effective Lynette is at this role, we need to compare her to other options. For this, I am comparing her to Kazuha and Zhongli. As we can see, with Kazuha you get more damage, but it's not a very significant difference. But you lose the defensive utility of Lynette's taunt, making this way less practical. Kazuha's grouping can be better than Lynette's due to having a much bigger pull radius, but against some enemies, his plunge will also ungroup them. Lynette having her taunt to keep enemies grouped after she pulls them together can result in her actually being a better grouper than Kazuha in some scenarios. And with Zhongli, you get a more practical team than using either Lynette or Kazuha, since his shield lets you just face take everything. But in exchange for more comfort over Lynette, you get lower DPS. So, Lynette makes a really good middle ground between the two. The one thing to keep in mind, however, is that taunts don't work against the Barsis. So if you are in an Abyss cycle with an aggressive Bars that you can't easily dodge, Lynette may not be ideal there. But aside from that, she is an excellent pick with Lenny. Now let's talk about her with Wanderer, since that is the thumbnail. So as we mentioned, Lynette is an Anemo sub DPS unit. This means that she can take advantage of the massive buffs that Farazan provides to deal pretty good damage at any team that uses Farazan. But when we talk about teams that use Farazan, we have to talk about Wanderer. Wanderer can appreciate having an Anemo sub DPS for the combination of damage and grouping. Lynette provides both of these things, but once again, she doubles up as a defensive option thanks to her taunt, which lasts most of Wanderer's field time. With Wanderer's mobility and enemies focusing their attacks on the taunt, it is very easy for him to avoid getting hit entirely. So, since Lynette can be used as both an Anemo sub DPS grouper as well as a defensive option, we need to compare her to other Anemo sub DPS options as well as the other defensive options. Compared to Kazuha and Venti, she does more damage than both of them, even with them having Bennett's buff and her not having it, since she doesn't snapshot. Or being used before Bennett also means that you will get full Bennett uptime on Wanderer without needing to shorten his combo at all. 
This, along with her higher damage, allows the team DPS to be quite ahead with her than them. However, do keep in mind once again that Lynette loses her damage if enemies move away from her burst. This shouldn't be an issue since the taunt will be keeping enemies near it, but it may be an issue in multi-wave in multi scenarios if enemies spawn too far away from it. Then comparing her to other defensive options, we can compare her to Layla and Thoma. As we can see, the overall team DPS for Lynette is already ahead of Toma, but slightly behind Layla. The margin of difference between her and Layla is not that big, and the Lynette provides her grouping, which can be a pretty significant advantage over Layla, depending on the content. But once again, taunts do not work against Barsis, so if you are facing an aggressive boss that is hard to dodge, you may want to stick with Layla. Lynette also has the advantage of being an Anemo battery. This isn't super important with Wanderer since Farasan has already plenty enough battery for him. However, it can be very convenient in scenarios where you finish an Abyss Chamber early and don't have much energy on Farazan. Lynette being able to front load 8 Anemo Particles will let you very quickly get Farazan's burst back in those scenarios. And speaking of her being an Anemo battery, this is also excellent if your Farazan isn't C6. Pre C6 Farazan can run into issues of not being able to burst every rotation. With Lynette as a battery, able to funnel 4 to 8 particles to her, you shouldn't have this issue. Based on my math, you should be able to get 52k DPS out of a Wanderer, Farazan, Bennett, Lynette team, assuming Farazan is C2 and Lynette is C6. Furthermore, regarding Lynette's synergy with Wanderer, is that since she doesn't snapshot, you don't lose any damage on her if you aren't using Bennett. So, if you are looking to free up Bennett for the other team, you can use a team of Wanderer, Farazan, Micah, Lynette. This is about 8k DPS behind using Bennett instead of Micah here, so it is definitely not as strong. 60k DPS is still really good output for an alternative that frees up Bennett. The other main alternative is for, for freeing up Bennett for Wanderer is using Wanderer, Farazan, Micah, Yunjin. This team is about 9k DPS higher than using Lynette instead of Yunjin. However, Lynette may be better in AoE since Yunjin loses value there. You also have Lynette's grouping and taunting as an advantage, while Yunjin doesn't create crystallize in the micro rotation, leaving you vulnerable to interruption. So if you do need to free up your Bennett for another team, Wanderer, Lynette, Farazan, Micah should do pretty well. One last thing I want to point out with Lynette's synergy with Wanderer is her brush's elemental absorption prioritizes Cryo before Pyro. This means that when facing enemies that have Cryo attacks, she will occasionally allow Wanderer to get his cryo crit rate buff, even with no cryo unit on the team. This won't happen often since it only works against enemies with cryo attacks, but it is a pretty neat thing she can do in those scenarios. Now, let's analyze her with Zhao. She's not as good of a defensive option for Zhao as she is with Wanderer and Lenny, since she will only taunt for about half his build time. Her grouping is also not as good with him due to uptime issues as well as Zhao's knockback. However, where she does really shine with Zhao is her damage as a sub-DPS, as well as being an Anemo battery. Zhao's rotations are long enough for Lynette to use both charges of her skill at C4 every rotation, so you should basically never have a situation where Farosan or Zhao can't burst if using her. And if you find that you don't need a shielder with Zhao, being able to run a strong sub-DPS with him for the 4th slot is really good value since there aren't any good buffers he can use instead. So, let's see how she compares to other options. Shangling was previously the best option you could get for a sub-DPS for Zhao. She does great damage with Bennett's buff and provides Pyro Resonance, but she takes away some Bennett buff uptime from Zhao and has massive energy requirements, along with resulting in higher energy requirements for Zhao as well. Here, Lynette will do similar damage to Shangling without taking up Bennett uptime. It is also worth keeping in mind though that Shangling's damage can scale higher in single target scenarios against the bosses with big enough hitboxes for her boss to get in extra hits. If we were to assume she gets twice the amount of spins, the DPS with her would jump up to 75k. This puts her decently ahead of Lynette, but even then I think Lynette is the better pick because of how convenient she makes energy. And even though her defensive utility and grouping isn't as good with Zhao as it is with Wanderer and Lenny, it is still a decent advantage she has over Zhongling. And we can also see here that Lynette is ahead of Toma, which is usually Zhao's highest DPS shield option. 
So you do get pretty well rewarded if you can play Zhao without a shield and use Lynette instead. So overall, I think Lynette makes an incredible pick for Wanderer, Linny, and Zhao. And with that covered, let's go over her weapons and artifacts. For these comparisons, I am looking at her at C6 and buffed by a C6 Farazan. If you are using her with Linny or a similar team that doesn't buff her and uses her as solo and emo, you will want to just use her on 4-piece Viridescent with Favonius or Sacrificial Sword for energy, or Freedom Sword for buffing if you can get enough ER without Favonius or Sacrificial. But, with her buffed by Farazan, here are the numbers. Mist Splitter and Jade Cutter are going to be her two best weapons, followed up by an R5, an R5 Wolf Fang, as well as Light of Foliar Incision. Impressively, the new Forgeable Sword, Finale of the Deep, is her next best weapon, assuming you can reliably get the Bond of Life cleared. This shouldn't be an issue with the self fill from her skill. An R5 Lion's Roar is closely behind if you can maintain its passive, which shouldn't be much of an issue since her burst absorption will apply Pyro, assuming you have Pyro on the team. And Freedom Swan is going to be the lowest damage option for her personal damage, but since she is being used with Wanderer and Zhao who are hyper carries, the buffs Freedom Swan applies will result in her team output being higher here, despite lowering her own damage. And for artifacts, I get the 4 piece Hunter set being the best set, assuming that 5 out of 11 hits of her burst will get the crit rate buff. However, I am not confident in my uptime assumptions for this. It should still be ahead even if the uptime is a bit lower, but you can also just use her on 4 emblem or 2 piece 2 piece and do just fine. Even with my current uptime assumptions for hunters on her, you are only losing about 20, 20k damage by using an alternative set. Since most of the team damage is coming from Wanderer or Zhao anyway, this will honestly not be a big deal. But yeah, that's just about uh, everything I have to say about Lynette. Overall, I think she's an excellent 4 star unit and provides great value to what I would say are 3 of the best teams in the game right now, those being Wanderer, Zhao, and Linny. She also works well for pretty much any team that wants an Nemo grouper, as long as you don't lose too much by not having Kazuo's buffing. She should also be able to work okay as a main DPS with her C6 infusion, or as an Nemo driver with it, but I didn't focus on these type of teams because I do not believe they will be anywhere near as good as using her with the 3 teams that I did focus on. But yeah, if you liked today's video, please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please be sure to also comment down below letting me know your thoughts. Thanks. Bye.